Thanks, guys. We're here with five-time world champion Vishy Anand, who's helping us understand who's going to be the next world champion. He is commentating with Grandmaster Irina Crush, and I wanted to have you on because, obviously, there's a lot of Indians playing. So I want to get your thoughts first on the two kids, on Prague and, and also Kukesh. Uh, describe their play so far. Both, um, in after all, what's their first appearance in the candidates, are just playing uh, as if they've been here all the time. Uh, they're creating a lot of chances, um, and Gukesh plus two, fairly unthreatened so far plus two. Um, Prague a bit more combative, had this one accident, but uh, again he's managed to win two games. Uh, this lovely uh, bluff, or uh, I don't know what to call it, he did against with it stunt, um, and. Um, very impressive, plus two, plus one, and with it just uh, on 50%. So very good performances. Kids, you're not supposed to move your F-pawn without my written permission or unless your name is Prague. Uh, what about Vidit? He's been really up and down. Is there a chance he could pull off like three or four wins in a row and really challenge for the, for the title? He's done it before. But uh, for me, what is interesting is that both Prague and Vidit have had some uh, missteps. And, uh, but the more important thing is every game they come up with new chances. And then that allows them a certain margin of failure. Uh, I think uh, Vidit could easily a, a, a win somewhere. There's a lot of rounds left. A win somewhere. And he's, uh, his mood is back. Everything is back. His score is helping. And uh, he's right back in it. Was there a small competition for your services to help prepare for this tournament? Uh, not too much. They, I mean, things are pretty much set. And they were the seconds. But... Uh, uh, I was um, I was asked the odd question, odd question or two. Okay, I won't dive deeper. Last question. You went to the Bocelli concert last night, and I heard you were really into it. Describe how you felt there. Oh, unbelievable. It was uh, uh, so nice to, to be there. And uh, I realized that there were a lot of songs that I'd heard of, but I didn't realize were Bocelli. Or the, maybe he was just performing them. Uh, and uh, the Arbiter Andy was also very excited. So we were arguing a little bit about our favorite Bocelli song. I, was, I thought it was time to say goodbye. And he thought it was Cantada La Terra. But, uh, you know, Fabiano almost sang a verse for us. Is there any chance we're going to get you to sing a verse? Uh, time to <laughs> say goodbye. Um, uh, the problem is it's so much of it is Italian. I'm not sure of all the words. I'll have to look it up. But anyway, I mean, you, you can hum along, but you can't really think. Um, but what I thought was a really nice story is when we played here, because we played, and at some point uh, he um, set a little trap for me. He had a bishop on d6, a rook on d8, and he's threatened. My queen's on d3, he goes c5. I captured it with the b pawn, not the d pawn, which would obviously allow him to win the queen. And then I think his uh, friend told him, you know, he's taken on c5. Whereupon his, he didn't go to the C5 square to recapture. He quickly went and checked if the depot pawn was still there. And when he saw it still there, he said, ah, which I thought was very cute. <laughs> so, uh, but I didn't realize he's such a serious chess player. Anyway, uh, he, he closed with uh, Time to Say Goodbye and Nassim Dorma. So uh, that was fantastic. Cool. Well, he set a trap for you, and I set a trap for you by also trying to get you to sing on the air. So you're getting trapped every which way, but we appreciate the time, Grandmaster Vishyanan. Now back to you.